So you just graduated from uni and you are now ready to move into a new phase of life, to finally pursue your dream career and become a contributing member of society. Some of the worst unemployment numbers in this country's history. Well, shit. Hey guys, my name is Min. And my name is Miles. And we're both from Guatecana Bolusawa, and I've actually known this guy for more than 10 years now. Siandia. Yeah. yeah. So me and Min recently just graduated with degrees in zoology. Mm -hmm. And I know what you're thinking, what the heck is zoology? So zoology is basically the study of animals and that's pretty much it. Yeah, so the both of us have been looking for jobs mm -hmm. all around Malaysia, some in research, some in conservation. And no, we don't just work in zoos, okay? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The thing is, our job search hasn't been going so well. Yeah, especially with the effects of the global pandemic. But it turns out that fresh grad unemployment in Malaysia is actually not a new problem. You see, the unemployment rate of young Malaysians has actually always been higher than the national average. Mm -hmm. Which makes sense if you think young people are just getting out of school, just figuring things out. Like the two of us. Yeah. So even before all this COVID stuff, in 2019, the unemployment rate of Malaysians aged between 20 and 24 was actually more than three times the national average. Now, speaking of the pandemic, a study done by JobTree indicated that one in five Malaysians have already lost their job due to COVID-19. What's more worrying is that about two million Malaysians, two million are expected to be unemployed. So putting all this COVID stuff aside, why is it that so many of us, fresh graduates, seem to struggle to find employment? One of the main reasons could be that there simply isn't enough jobs being made for us in the job market right now. According to Bank Negara Malaysia, between 2010 and 2017, there were about 173,000 fresh graduates entering the workforce. But during that same time period, only about 99,000 high-skilled jobs that require a tertiary education were created. So, if I do a little bit of quick maths, that means for every one graduate, there's about 0.57 jobs created that require a degree or diploma. As you can tell, that doesn't work, just like we don't work. But according to JobStreet, fresh graduates are part of the issue themselves, and there are actually five main reasons why they aren't getting hired. Asking for unrealistic salary, being choosy about jobs or companies that they want to work for, poor character or attitude, poor English skills, and poor communication skills. Now talking about the first point which states that applicants are asking for too much gaji, according to Kazana Research Institute, the salary of young people is only around 1.8 thousand, which roughly equals to about 150 spicy chicken mac deluxes, which is not a lot if you ask me. So McDonald's, if you're watching this, please sponsor us, please. So the second reason is that applicants are too choosy about the jobs or companies that they want to work for. However, once again, Kazana Research Institute showed that actually many workers are overeducated and are working in low-skilled jobs. And there are also many that are working outside their field of study. So I know we've mentioned a lot of negative facts so far, but what can we actually do in this situation to increase our odds of getting hired? Well, if you're still in school, there may be a few things you can still do. Job Street conducted a study where they asked employers what gives fresh graduates a competitive advantage, and four main reasons came up the most. Has held a leadership position, has high academic scores, involved in extracurricular activities, and has done volunteer work. So for those who just graduated or just about to graduate, I think the biggest takeaway from this video is that Hello, I don't know. Yeah, is that competition right now is very tough. Yeah, so don't be discouraged if you receive any rejection letters. Yeah, because that is way better than getting ghosted by the company that you apply for. He's hurt. So just be patient mm -hmm. and maybe use some of this free time to pursue something that you've always wanted to do, That's true. but maybe couldn't because of schoolwork or other responsibilities. Like, you know, um, learning a new skill, starting a business of your own, something like that. Or mm -hmm. maybe even starting your own YouTube channel. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. As you can probably tell, this is our first video yeah. ever. <laughs> so go easy on us. Mm -hmm. Um, we linked all the studies and articles that we cited down in the description below. So check them out if you want to. And then one more thing, please tell us down below in the comment section as well, what do you guys think of this issue? Like your experience so far and you, if you guys have any tips 
please. Yeah, we need some yeah, tips. Put it down <laughs> below in the comment section as well. Yep. yep. So if you enjoy this kind of content, stay tuned. We'll be making a lot more videos. Yes. Mainly to do with the environment or biodiversity because that's what we studied, but also some issues that we find important or related to us. Yes. So see you see guys in the next in video. It's my line. Oh. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>